a human thing to yourself. Man, this Spooksgiving season is such a dud! Have you been thinking to yourself, man, this Spooksgiving season is such a dud? Well, I'm here to show you how to have a very fun, very safe, very fertile Spooksgiving season right from the comfort of your very own home. <laughs> and of course, no Spooksgiving season is complete without a sacrificial gourd. You see, according to ancient Egyptian mythology, each sacrificial gourd contains approximately five to ten fertile spirits, depending, of course, on pedigree and girth. And now, folks, I'm going to show you in an easy five-step process how to safely extract those fertile spirits and decorate this little fella so that your sacrificial gourd isn't a sacrificial snore. Step one, prime your gourd. To prime your gourd, simply rub it in a clockwise fashion. The gourd will let you know when it's fully primed. <laughs> Step two, hollow your gourd. In order to extract the spirits, we must hollow out your sacrificial gourd. Step three, pick your design. Choose a design that speaks to you. No, not quite. No. We're good. Now, this. This is the one. And now it's time to transfer that design straight from your brain onto the gourd. Alright, artists, fire up your engines! Time for step four. EXECUTE! And now for our final step. In order to appease your gourd spirits, it is advisable to illuminate your sacrificial gourd. And that's all there is to it, folks. Have yourselves a very safe and fertile Spooksgiving season. <laughs>